Hey guys, it's your boy, Peter John. Welcome to episode 79 of the Logo History. Today I am going to talk about PBS Kids Go, Nokia, McDonald's and Garage Band. PBS Kids Go was requested by AT&T Logo and more stuff on my Discord server. Garage Band was requested by Rob Geo 407 l Nokia was requested by Fernando Acoin on my Discord server, and McDonald's was requested by Angel Esparza and Milagros Rojas. Check out their channels by clicking on the card. I hope you like it. First, I am going to talk about PBS Kids Go. 2004 to 2013, there is a green speech bubble with a black outline, and inside it, there are the words PBS and kids in white text, and there is the word go and exclamation mark in black text. Here is the print version and a bumper. All right, now I am gonna talk about Nokia. 1865 to 1965, there is a white circle and inside it, on the top, there are the words Nokia and Asakathio in black text, on the bottom, there are the words Nokia and Actiebelag in black text, and in the middle, there is a white fish. Here is a variant. 1965 to 1978, there is a black shape, and in the middle of the shape, there is the word Nokia in white text. 1978 to the present, there is the word Nokia in blue text. Here is the print version, the version with arrows and an intro. Okay, now I am going to talk about Garage Band. First, I'm gonna talk about the iOS version. 2011 to 2013, there is a guitar and behind it, there is a brick wall and a wood floor. 2013 to the present, the guitar is now bigger, white and on a red and yellow gradient background. Now I am gonna talk about the Mac OS version. 2004 to 2014, there is only a guitar. 2014 to the present, now behind the guitar there is a guitar amplifier. All right, now I am gonna talk about McDonald's. 1940 to 1948, here we have the logo of the first McDonald's name, McDonald's Famous Barbecue. There are the word McDonald's, famous and barbecue in black text and on the left and on the right there are two lines. 1948 to 1953, here we have the logo of the second McDonald's name, McDonald's Famous Hamburgers. There is a black rectangular shape, and inside it there are the words McDonald's, Famous and Hamburgers in white text and under it, the words buy em, buy, the and bag also in white text. Also, above the word McDonald's there is man wearing white clothes. 1953 to 1961, they changed its name to McDonald's. There is the word McDonald's in red text. 1961 to 1968, the font has changed, and now above the text, there are two golden arches in a red outline, and a yellow line passing through them, also in a red outline. Here is the symbol, the version of circle in a commercial. Introducing the world's newest, silliest, and hamburger eating as clown, Ronald McDonald. Now where is that clown? Oh, Ronald, 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 hey Ronald. Here I am, kid. Hey, isn't watching TV fun? Especially when you got delicious McDonald's hamburgers. Ronald, you can't be on TV and watch it at the same time. Now, come on and meet the boys and girls. Oh, we've already met. I know we're going to be friends, too, because I like to do everything boys and girls like to do. Especially when it comes to eating those delicious McDonald's hamburgers. A magic tray here keeps me well supplied. McDonald's hamburgers, french fries, and milkshakes. Watch for me on TV. We'll have lots of fun. He's Ronald McDonald, the hamburger happy clown, a McDonald's drive-in restaurant is his favorite place in town. 1968 to 2003, the arches are simpler, the red outline has been removed, the font of the text has changed, the text is now in black, and it was moved to the middle right of the arches. Here is a print version, the symbol, the wordmark, the 3D version, the blue version and a commercial. I'm going to show you how McDonald's builds a, a Big Mac sandwich. It starts here with a lightly toasted bun. And then a pure beef hamburger. Sizzling hot. A slice of cheddar blend cheese. And some crisp, fresh lettuce. Then, our own secret sauce. The club slice, toasted. Another hamburger. And a little more sauce, just for good flavor. 
crisp dill pickles, and the sesame seed crown. This is the sandwich. McDonald's new Big Mac sandwich for the bigger than average appetite. McDonald's is your kind of place. Nineteen eighty three to two thousand three. Now the arches and the text are inside a red rounded rectangle. Here is a commercial. In man's never ending quest to go faster, ever faster, there's a new way to breeze through meals. McDonald's new order by the number system. Get your favorite sandwich with large fries and medium Coca Cola Classic just by saying one McDLT, two Big Mac, three quarter pounder with cheese. McDonald's new ordering by the number system. As easy as one, two, three for today's people on the go. 1993 to 2007, there are only the yellow arches with a black shadow. Here is the print version and a commercial. Oh, I'm late. Yeah, and after lunch we're going skateboarding. 2003 to 2003 and 2018 to the present, the shadow of the arches has been removed, and now the arch is inside a red rounded square. Here is a commercial. It's that time of year again. North side versus south. Neighbor versus neighbor. Cubs versus Sox. To make sure we're all rooting on a full stomach, McDonald's is bringing back the tangy and juicy McRib sandwich. And when you make it an extra value meal, it's just $2.99. Also available a Cubs Sox Collector Cup. Hey, with a deal like this, does it really matter who wins? Just kidding. 2003 to 2006, the square has been removed and the arches are thicker. Here is the print version, the 3D version, the slogan version and the commercial. Toys based on Disney's newest movie, Chicken Little, in your McDonald's Happy Meal. I love it. 2006 to the present, the arches are thinner. Here is print version, the gray version and a commercial. Okay guys, this is it for today. Before ending this video I want to tell you that I won't be accepting your requests until episode 88, because I have a lot of requests to do. But okay, I really hope you liked it. Stay tuned for episode 80 that is going to be about IBC 13, DNA Productions, Coca-Cola, Altel and Grubhub. And also don't forget to join my Discord server and to subscribe to my channel so you can watch my daily logo histories. I am Peter John, this is Logo History and until tomorrow, bye.